All right, so this is my end of module assessment review. Um, so this is uh, a slightly modified version of the test we're going to be taking. Um, so I've got 450 plus 200, and we're supposed to solve using a written strategy, such as a tape, tape diagram, number bond, the arrow way, vertical form, or chips on a place value chart. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use chips on a place value chart for my first one here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. So it's 450, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 450. And then I've got 200. And I'm just going to come over here and add these up. So I've obviously got nothing over here in my ones place. I have 5 right here in my tens place. And I have 6 right here in my hundreds place. So I come up with 650. All right, now with problem B, they're trying to fool you a little bit because they have moved the equal sign over here. Um, but this is basically the exact same thing that we've been doing. So it's the same as saying 845 minus 300 is equal to blank. So don't be fooled by the way that they switch this around. So I'm going to, once again, use a uh, place value chart. All right, so I went ahead and put 845 on my place value chart. Now I'm going to start subtracting. So I obviously don't need to subtract anything in over here. So I'm going to end up with 5 in my 1's place. Um, I'm not subtracting anything in my 10's place either. So I end up with 4. Then over here in my 100's place, I'm only subtracting 3 because it says to subtract 300. So 1, 2, 3, and I end up with 545. All right, so here's another one where they're trying to trip you up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick number bond and explain what I've done. All right, so we see that we have blank plus 200 equals 578. Um, 578 um, is going to be the whole because this is, uh, once again, an addition problem. Um, so we have our whole right here. And then we have one of our parts right here. Um, and so when we have a whole and one of the parts, the way to find the other part, which is what we do not have, which is represented by this blank over here, uh, what we do is we have to subtract. Um, so we're going to turn this into a subtraction problem just real quick. All right, so I've kind of switched these numbers around a little bit just so we can kind of see what we're really doing here. So I have 578 minus 200 because, once again, we have a hole and a part, and I need to find the other part. So I set up my uh, chip model down here. We're going to go ahead and uh, work this out. So I have uh, to take away 200s, so I don't have to take away anything in over here in my ones place, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left here. I don't have to take away anything in my uh, tens place either because I'm, it just has a minus a zero, so I have a seven here, and then I'm only taking away two over here in my hundreds place, so I end up with 378. All right, so on 1D, it's asking us to do 240 minus 170. And once again, it says to only use one written strategy. I'm going to use two just to demonstrate how they kind of relate. Um, so I've got 240 minus 170. So I have, of course, 0 minus 0, which is still 0. Then I have 4 minus 7, which I can't do. So I'm going to go ahead and do some unbundling. So I have to take apart one of my hundreds, which leaves me with one left. And then I'm going to move all 10 
of those tens from that hundred that I just took apart into this spot right here. So I end up with 14. Um, so I have 14 minus 7, which is 7, and then 1 minus 1, which is 0. So I end up with 70. Coming over here, I have to do a little bit of unbundling. Um, so once again, I've got nothing really going on in my ones place, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my zero there. Then I need to be able to take away seven from my tens place right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take apart this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then uh, I need to take away seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that leaves me with seven left, okay? Um, then right over here, I still need to take away the one in my hundreds, so I'm going to subtract that, so I end up with 70 again. So with this problem, they're trying to trick you again. They've basically just taken this equal sign and moved it over here and moved the space for the answer. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually just going to go like that and just flip it around to where it should be over here and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I notice when I'm looking at this is I can't take away six from my tens place because I only have four over there. So I'm going to unbundle and move these over. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then I need to go ahead and subtract my 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I am left with 8 left over here. Um, then I'm going to move over into my 100 spot, and I need to subtract 2. So I've got 1 and 2. So I end up with 4, and of course I didn't have to do anything over here. So I have 480. This problem is going to be very similar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here um, so that you can try and work this one out on your own because this is pretty much identical to what we've been doing. Um, so you just work this out on the place value chart, and then when you're done, hit uh, play, and you can check your work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my borrowing, my unbundling. Uh, let me switch my color here so it's a little bit easier to see. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I did this because I saw that I wasn't going to be able to take away five uh, from my tens place because I only had three. So now I can go ahead and take away my five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five here and three up here, which makes eight. Um, then over here, I need, in my hundreds place, I need to take away one of these. I'm going to do that. That leaves me with one. And of course, I have a zero over here in my ones place. Now here's where I expect to see a lot of confusion, because this is going to be a little bit new for some of you. So I have 530 minus 400. So if I take 400 away from 530, I end up with 130, okay? But then it says to add 10 back. So I end up with 140. So here's where we get to the kind of confusing part. Because um, we end up with 140 in the end. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on these two numbers right here. So I have minus 400 and then plus 10. Um, so let's think about that. If I have minus 400 and then the opposite, plus 10, that's kind of like saying I only ever subtracted 390 because I have 400 plus uh, minus 10, okay? Um, and that's because those are opposites. Um, 
And so this is the same as saying 530 minus 390 equals 140. Now, like I said, this one is uh, going to be quite confusing for most of you. Um, and so uh, I will uh, try and explain this one a little bit better uh, during class. All right, so when I come over here, I see 470 minus blank equals 270 plus blank equals 290. Um, so I know that if I have 470 and I'm trying to get to 270, I have to take away 200. And then, so that gets me to right here. Then I have plus something equals 290. Um, so if I have 270 and I'm trying to get to 290, I just have to add 20 right there, okay? Um, so this is gonna be similar to the last one um, because we have to turn this into just a simple problem down here and we've got 200 minus 200 plus 20. Um, so it's kind of undoing part of taking away 200. So what, how we should look at this is if we have 200 and we're doing the opposite because we have subtraction here and addition here, that's the same as only taking away 180, okay? All right, so this one is going to be quite confusing as well. Um, so we've got blank minus 400 equals blank minus 40 equals 518. Um, and so to find what's in these blanks over here, we're going to have to do some uh, kind of backwards math. So we're going to start with 518. And to find this number right here, I'm going to do 518 plus 40. Okay, so let me get this all set up. All right, so essentially all I've done is I've taken this problem and I've started to do it backwards, and I used the, um, the opposite. Um, so where we subtract over here, we add over here. So 518 plus 40 equals 500. <clears throat> excuse me, and 58, 500 and 58. So I know that this over here is going to, going to be 558 because, once again, all I'm essentially doing is I flopped this over here. Um, then I'm going to do, let me switch my color real quick, then I'm going to do plus 400 and so that's going to get me 958 so when we come back over here I know that I just need to fill in this blank with 958 and there's my answer all right, so for problem 3A, it's just to draw a place value chart and uh, to model the problems and to show a written subtraction method to check your work. Um, so as you can tell, this is an addition problem, but we have to check it with subtraction. So we're basically going to put the numbers together and then take them back apart. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so as you see, I have... Uh, gone ahead and put my numbers into my place value chart and so let's uh, start counting so I see I have six seven eight nine and ten so I'm gonna go ahead and bundle those let me change my color here real quick just so you can see what exactly what I'm doing so I'm gonna move that over and so I have two left 
over here. And then in my tens place, I have eight chips, so I don't have to bundle anything there. And then I move over into my hundreds place, and I have seven, eight. So I come up with 882. Now we're going to go down here and set up our subtraction problem. All right, so how we're going to do this is we're going to take our bottom two numbers, so 136 and 882. So yes, we're going to take these two bottom numbers and set up a subtraction problem. So uh, obviously I need to take 882 and put that on top and we're going to do 100 and 36 below that. And our goal is to hopefully get back to 746. So like I said, we're putting the numbers together right here, and then we're taking them apart. Um, so let's go ahead and solve this. So I obviously can't do 2 minus 6. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my borrowing or unbundling. So if I take apart one of those tens, I only have seven of them left. And so I move that over into my ones place, and, and so that's why I have 12 there now. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on a place value chart as well, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up on the place value chart. So I had to take away one of those tens. Um, so let me go ahead and move that over into my ones place. So one, two, three, four. All right, so as you can see, I have 12 over here in my ones place as well as 7 in my tens place, so it matches up perfectly with what we're doing over here in the vertical problem. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue with that. Um, so I have 12 minus 6 in the vertical problem, and I happen to know that that is 6, but I'm going to prove it to you over here. Um, so we're going to take away 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so I'm left with 6 right there as well. Um, then moving into our tens place, we have 7 minus 3, which is 4. So we're going to take away 3 over here. 1, 2, 3. And sure enough, we are left with 4. And then in our hundreds place, we just have 8 minus 1. So that's going to be 7 and 8 minus 1. And sure enough, we end up with 7 there as well. So we put the numbers together, then took them apart, and we ended up with the same number that we started with. All right, so this problem is pretty much identical to the last one. Uh, so I went ahead and set up the place value chart. Um, so that we could just zip through this one really quick. Um, so I'll just start adding in my ones place. So I have 7, 8, 9, and 10, which leaves me with 2 over here after I bundle these and move it over. Then I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like I'm going to have to bundle again, which leaves me with 1 in my 10 spot. And then I have 5 and 6 right here. So I have 612. So now we're going to go ahead and check that with subtraction. All right, so once again, we need to take our bottom two numbers um, to basically undo what we just did. Um, I'm going to set this up as 612 minus 445. And uh, this time, since it does say use a subtraction sentence, I'm not going to put it on a place value chart. So um, you're just going to have to follow along, OK? So obviously, I can't take 5 away from 2. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of unbundling. So I have a 12 right there. And I end up with a zero right there, just like that. 
the interesting thing is I'm obviously going to have to do 0 minus 4 right here. So I can actually go ahead and take this apart and just say that I have 5 left here. And this would actually turn into a 10. So I have 12 minus 5, which is 7. 10 minus 4, which is 6 and 5 minus 4, which is 1. So I end up with 167, which is exactly what I started with. All right, so moving on, we have a subtraction problem that we then need to check using addition. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so I have 617 minus 329. Um, I'm going to obviously have to do a little bit of unbundling. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little guy apart and move him over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can go ahead and take away nine from over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which leaves me with. Eight. Now, I can't subtract 2 from the middle because I don't have anything there at the moment, so I'm going to have to take apart one of my hundreds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then I can come back in and subtract 2, so 1, 2, which leaves me with 8 there. Then I need to subtract 3 from the 100 spot, so 1, 2, 3, which leaves me with 288. So similar to the last problem, we're going to take what would be the bottom two numbers and uh, add them together. So I, we have this number and this number right here. So we're going to just set that up. 329 plus 288, and if we did this right, we should end up with 617. So I have 9 plus 8, which is 17, and then 2 plus 8, which is 10, plus 1 is 11, and then 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. I end up with 617, just like what I started with. All right, so this is pretty much exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up just real quick, because I obviously need to get one of these hundreds over into the tens place, and then one of the tens over into the ones place. So let me get that set up. <clears throat> All right, so I took apart this hundred right here, and I moved it over. Then I took apart one of the tens and moved it over, so I ended up with nine tens in the ten spot and ten ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my subtraction now. So I'm taking away three over here, one, two, three, and I end up with seven. Then in the middle I take away six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I end up with three. Then over here I take away five, so one, two, three, four, five, and I end up with one. So we're going to take this number and this number and add them and hopefully get back to 700, okay? All right, so 3 plus 7 is, of course, 10. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we ended up back at 700 just like we hoped. So this problem is really just taking, uh, well it says to find the missing numbers to make each statement true and then show your strategy to solve. So it doesn't tell us how to do this. So you could use a chip model or arrow way or really anything you want. So um, I would just choose whatever is easiest for you. And I'm going to show the chip model on this first one. So let me go ahead and pause and get that uh, taken care of. All right, so I've got 300 minus 206. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up so that I, we can do all of our math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take that apart. Move it over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can take away my 6 from over in the 1's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm left with 4. I'm taking away nothing right here in the middle in the 10's place. So I'm left with 9. And I'm taking away both of these because I'm subtracting 2 in the 100's place. So I end up with 0. So I have 94. Alright, so with this one, of course, like I said earlier, they're just trying to trick you. So what I would do is I would just go like this and move it over here and just solve it normally. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract my 9 from over here. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I am left with, looks like 8. Then in the center, in the tens place, I'm subtracting five. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, so I'm left with four. Then I subtract two in the hundreds place, and I end up with 100, uh, 148. All right, so for this last problem that I'm going to do with you, um, we have 410 minus 180 is equal to 420 minus blank. Um, so we're going to figure out what we need to do with this because we, we see that it's just equal, so we need to make this math problem equal to that one. So um, we're going to try and figure out how to make these equal. So we need to work out the first problem first. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, and you are going to work this out, and then you're going to compare your answer with mine. So of course we have 0 minus 0, which is 0, then 1 minus 8, which we can't do, so we're going to have to do a little bit of borrowing. So I'm going to take apart that 100, and now we have 11 minus 8, and so that is 3 and then 3 minus 1, which is 2. So I have come up with 230. So this side right here is 230. So I need to figure out how to get 230 on this side as well. So when we're looking at 420 and we're trying to figure out how what to subtract to get to 230. I think it would be beneficial to draw a quick number bond. So I've got 420 and 230. And then here's our question mark right over here. So we really don't know what to subtract to get to 230 yet. Um, but we have the whole and one of the parts, which is 230 itself. Um, so if we subtract 230, 230 from 420, we'll figure out what we need to subtract to make 230. So we're going to go ahead and set this problem up. So I've got 420 minus 230. And so I have 0 minus 0, which is 0. Um, and of course I can't take 3 away from 2, so I'm going to have to do some unbundling. So I end up with 12 minus 3 and 3 minus 2. So I have 12 minus 3, uh, which is 9, and then 3 minus 2, which is 1. So I know that 190 is what I need to subtract in order to make... 230. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and turn you loose on the rest of the problem set. Um, so go ahead and pause, and then when you are ready to move on, you can compare your answer with what I have on the screen. All right, so 
I saw that the answer to this side was 560, so that I knew that in order to make this side equal, I would have to use 560. I would have to make this side equal 560, okay? So I took 560 plus this 200 right here. So I have 760 because I know that 760 minus 200 is going to equal 560, okay? So go ahead and make sure that your problem looks very similar to mine. Then we're going to switch over here. And it's a very similar concept. So I saw I had to start on this side because that's where I had the complete um, problem. So I have 700 minus 426. So I went ahead and solved that, and I got 274. So in a similar way, I had to make sure that this problem over here was equal to 274 when we worked it out. So 900 minus 274 is 626. So 900 minus 626 equals 274.